need to get this run out of the way. Proxy, yeah, proxy is basically uh, just anything in a speed game where you gain a ton of height. So if you watch the start of Jack 3 runs at like top level, they do a proxy off of flag. If you watch Spyro speed runs, especially Spyro 2 and 3, they do proxies, although Spyro 1 has a couple of proxies. Uh, the category Vortex has many of them. And of course, uh, this series, Ratchet uh, 2 and 3, have proxies. There's a few other Ratchet games that have proxies, but they're not like done in the same way. I'm really disappointed in this Belden, but I don't want to reset anymore. As long as it's a head, that's all that matters to me. I also like watching my own runs back, so the fact that I'm missing like a shit ton of footage, even if it's on Marquee of all places, just really upsets me. And also I'd have to uh I'd have to like splice together like the clips to kinda make it one experience. I don't want to submit it as two videos. I really don't. So I'm not going to. Your TV doesn't like your PS2. Well, don't worry so much about the PS2 because the PS2 is not a very good version for speedrunning. Ratchet 1 and 3 is that lot. Oh, it's pretty good for 2. I don't know how you lost your PS3, but PS3s are really cheap and you can get these games for free if you know where to look. Ratchet 1 and Deadlocked are pretty bad because loads and a few uh, major like skips don't work on uh, those versions. Um, Ratchet 3 uh, loads are one reason, but also a lot of the skips, like the Florana skip and um, and now more recently some strats involving PSN trophies make PS2 just unviable for most uh, categories. Oh yeah, that games run well on PS3 emulator. PS3, RPCS3 is really good. I've seen a few people use it for uh, Ratchet runs and God of War runs, and it's very good. You gave it to a family member. Uh. Although the, the recommended starting category for up your arsenal, no quit exploit, um, you'll be fine if you run it on an emulator. You won't be able to skip Blackwater City, um, and the, the skip for Arcadia doesn't work, There or a, a version of a skip for Arcadia doesn't work, so you'd have to like learn the super hard version, but apparently that's become easier, so I'll read my chat in a second. Ratchet Deadlocked, um, Ratchet Deadlocked is pretty good on PS3 emulator. It's probably the least effective of all these. I don't know. It's probably the least effective of the OJ Clark versions on emulator. And I don't know about the later games, how they are in, like, emulator. I know a crack in time accepts emulator runs. Buy deadlock? Shh, 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 you don't need to buy it. Trust, trust, trust. I know a guy. I know a guy. I mean, if you if you really want to buy them legally, that's fine. But you, know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Games being accessible is what matters most. Yeah, exactly. I'll I'll give you a copy for free. Damn, good Florana. I might delete my gold for Phoenix because that has the old uh, skip. So, is, am I in VC? Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Astronave Fenice. Probably Fenice. Fenice? I don't know.
nice. Yeah, it is. It, it, that that one in particular, because there's boxies on a few planets, but that one in particular probably saved Ouya in a lot of ways. Because for one, the old version of the VR skip was pretty difficult. Like, I remember struggling a lot when I was first trying to learn the game. Hold on. Oh, oh, it kills you on its own. Okay, I didn't have to time it then. Nice. Um... But then, for any percent, or categories where you start from a brand new file, it saved the game even more, because those categories just, no one dared to touch them. Um, no one dared to touch stuff like any percent or all titanium bolts, because to do VR skip, you have to do 20 infinite jumps, and those were insanely difficult, but now it's not a problem anymore. That box is just so you do, yeah. Just clipping through walls or out of bounds. I mean, this is still that, it's just, you know, you got a little more. You got a little more meat. Okay. Titanium bolts. Okay, and now I can get on this. Okay, maybe not. I can't see, I can't get on it. <laughs> there we go. Destiny doesn't have this crazy shit, we just move very fast. That's still crazy. Not every speed game needs like crazy stuff to be a good speed run. I like the God of War games. God of War games alongside Ratchet and Clank are my favorite speed running series, uh, speed running games. But those don't have like crazy movement, they just have like a lot of skips and glitches and out of bounds. And we usually a form of an infinite jump for some reason. Okay. Ah. Oh, what's up, Tui? Yeah, they're really great for that reason alone. I don't know of any speed games that have this much movement tech, specifically unintended movement tech. Nice. Not a single Ratchet. Yeah, even the ones like like Ratchet 1 through Deadlocked are like busted as shit because of the movement you can do as well as some other things. Like each each of them has their own unique shit. Like, you know, Ouya with boxies, Deadlocked has air swings. But then like Size Matters has a, has a lot of skips. Like Size Matters has like this thing with the ship where you proxy up into the air. Um, uh, Tools of Destruction has uh, stuff with the... Uh, shock Ravager? Hold on. Okay, phew. Uh, let's see. A crack in Time is File Manips. Into the Nexus is kind of like a love letter to people that like the OG4. Destiny 7 because you have three of you. Yeah. By the way, if my uh, stream dies, it's not your end. It's probably my end. So, but I'll try and be back as like ASAP. So yeah. Okay, and it's around here somewhere. There's a titanium bolt that I'm looking for, but I can never remember where it is. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna clear out some enemies and run this way. Nice. Wait, actually, here. Let them fire at me. Let them fire at me. Uh, yep, that is much quicker and easier than the other death abuse I was using. There we go, okay. Okay, hold on, just give me one moment. Good. Yeah, it's a very good pace, but 
gonna try not to focus too much and then just have fun with the game. Okay, now, there we go. It's probably a little faster than charging back and having to go through all the enemies that are like fucking bonking into me. And then more media. Huh. I think I'm gonna be really quick and. Oh, I had a good LDF. I had a decent LDF from what I remember. This level's not really fun to navigate, but oh well. There we go. If I had the whip, it would be it would be a good idea to like death abuse here and then do what we do in NG Plus. There we are. And... You've always... I, I like the OST of these games as well. I, 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 like... I'm not as big of a fan of Ratchet 3's music. Um, because I just don't, like, remember as many of the tracks. But the ones on Arcadia are really good. They do the orchestral style really well. People, like, criticize the modern Ratchet and Clank games for having, like, orchestral style music. And it's like... This game... This game set a good example for how to do orchestral music. I'm sure most speedrunners are sick of this song, but I actually uh, don't mind it. Uh, die. There we go. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> That's bad. Love auto scrollers that can lose time. Well, this level in particular isn't necessarily an auto scroller, at least not entirely. Like, we do have an actual auto scroller, the two minute mission, but these ones you still lose time on. It's like it's kind of an auto scroller because, like, there's like definitely a hard limit to how fast you can do them. Oh, come on, why isn't it dying? Yeah, that was a pretty bad mission one, but that's okay. We take it. Crap, your auto scroll, yeah. If I didn't let all those enemies spawn, this is a much better mission. I don't, I don't hate this mission as much as mission one because the spawns are not so out of just all over the place. Ah, shit, I forgot about that. Do you guys think that when Ratchet, like, charges up a shotgun and like this and leaves it like that for too long and starts to, like, burn his hands? It looks like it would overheat. Oh, wait, that's the final dropship. That's the final dropship. ends here so I think we don't have to worry about like XP or bolts so next mission I can just do nothing. I'm gonna check a, a, every now and then though to make sure like the rangers don't die from enemies. Sometimes when you go AFK on mission 4 the laser enemies, at least I think it's them, can still kill the rangers and it's fucking annoying. I don't know why. 
Yeah, the AI gets fucked up when you like go on the side of the platform or underneath the platform, but sometimes the AI fixes itself. not finally. Oh, uh, I had a really good mission 5 in my PB because I didn't get hit at all while turning both cranks. on it when I get to the bolt pranks. So good. to run out. Three, two, one, zero. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, now to risk it all. Okay, I'm gonna change how I sit in my seat right now. Oh no. Okay, come on, be quick, be quick. Please, 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 please take too long. Please take a long time. Please take a long time. No, man. Ah, oh, I hate this. And my parents are home. That's bad. Because <laughs> my parents are really loud people. There, gang. We're almost to the end. Come on, home stretch. Why did that guy live? Why did that guy bite me? I hate him. Okay, um. That is a stupid time loss, but that's okay, because I expected it to happen, so it's not that stupid. It's normal. Again. Okay, this is probably going to be a sub 20 long load with long load removed. That was really fucking slow. Okay. Okay, and... And... Okay, that's a 20... Ah, uh, that's not a, that's not a sub-20. Damn. If it wasn't for those stupid, like, if it wasn't for Mission 5, 
But you know what? That's okay. I don't think I want to run this anymore. It's close to the sub-20, but 